In this video, we'll show you how easy it is to make one of our six gallon wine kits at home. Fill your primary fermenter with six gallons of water and mark the fill level with a marker. Clean and sanitize your fermenter along with a spoon, thermometer, hydrometer, and thief. Add half a gallon of hot water to the fermenter and stir in bentonite. This will help to clarify the wine. Pour the grape juice into the fermenter with the bentonite solution. Add one gallon of warm water to the bag to rinse out any remaining juice and add it to the fermenter. Top up the fermenter to the six gallon mark with lukewarm water. Stir vigorously for 30 seconds. Draw a sample of the juice and take a hydrometer reading. It should read between 1.080 and 1.097 depending on the wine type. This Australian Shiraz kit included a packet of toasted oak. Make sure to stir this under the surface of the liquid. The juice must be at a temperature between 72 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. It's time to add the yeast. Do not stir it in. It will activate on its own. Seal the fermenter with an airlock and store for five to seven days at 72 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Place the fermenter onto a countertop and take another hydrometer reading. It should be 1.010 or less. Siphon the wine into a six gallon carboy. Be sure to leave behind the thickest sediment at the bottom. Attach your airlock and wait about 10 days. Sanitize your thief and hydrometer and take a gravity reading. It should be 0 0.996 or less. Dissolve the potassium metabisulfite and potassium sorbate in half a cup of cool water. Add to carboy and stir vigorously for two minutes. Here we are using Wine Expert's wine whip attached to a drill. Shake and add the Kaidosan clarifier. Mm -hmm. 
Stir vigorously for another two minutes to degas the wine. Top up the carboy with cool water to within two inches of the bottom of the bung. Reattach the airlock and wait 14 days to clear. Check your wine for clarity. If it is not completely clear, leave it for another seven days. Clean and sanitize 30 wine bottles and corks, as well as your auto siphon, bottling, bucket, and bottle filler. In this video, we are using a bottling bucket. Connect your bottle filler and turn on the spigot. We recommend the Portuguese floor corker shown here to cork your bottles. Try to wait at least one month before tasting your wine. It should improve even more after three to six months.